Right, it's collection day of my new Nootie Boom trailer from GBT Sales. I'm just dropping off my old Nootie Boom right there. And my new trailer is just over there. Well, this is it. This is it. Old girl's done. Uh, my free axle, Nooty Boom, which I've had for just over three years, has done me so well that it's time to upgrade and move on. We'll go into all the costs and everything. I have bought it from GBT Sales. Um, and where's my Hegel here? That's my new Nooty Boom 4 axle. If you haven't seen the video when we came to look at it, I'll drop it down below. Um, I'm just gonna put all my chains and that across. I put all my kit into the new trailer. I am absolutely epically over the moon with this. Now, like I says, <laughs> my old trailer has done me well. I hope this trailer, I can imagine this trailer is doing just as good, if not better. Uh, GBT have done a phenomenal job for me. The pain job, the boys in the workshop, I am over the moon with that. If you see my last video, this trail was originally yellow. Um, oh, nah, pay the box, just freshened it up. All new wheels on her as well because what's the point in doing all this effort and paint her and then not sticking new wheels on it? Robert just went and did that like part way through. That was either part of the deal. He just went and did that for me. Painted this red. I just told him, do what you think looks good. I just said stick a flash of blue on it, and he's like, nah, nah, we're gonna do something special. Paint this. Look at the back. I'm looking at the back. All new LEDs, new lights, new wood in the trailer. Because there was no wood there, they were non-existent. Oh, what a difference it's going to be. Big winch, the winch now works as well. It's a proper winch. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm safe to say this. Trucker Tim's trailer is, his old trailer's up here up the back. Is this it? Aye. This is his old trailer up here. And that is, that's for sale, by the way, if you know anyone that wants to buy it. This is Trucker Tim's old King trailer. That's a chassis of that other red four, no, is that four series? I can't even mind, he's got so many bloody projects on the go. Tim, uh, I think we need to discuss your winch. That is not a winch, that is a car winch. You need to get yourself a bigger winch, pal. You're surprised, Jesus. <laughs> no, yeah, there's plenty of stock in here at Gilmore's. It just goes on for ages. And they've got, they're building a new shop blasting facility, and then they've got paint shops, and... Oh, my God, look at that. Look at that. He does have plenty of stock in. It's lagging down. But I am going to get this up the road, we'll look at it, run right through it and start having a play about with it. But we have to get home. <laughs> but keep watching, we're going to have a right look around it and show you all. It's, it, like I say, it's four axle with a lift and rear steer. Obviously got to come to the truck show to get the videos done. <laughs> got the photos in as well. Right, that is me back at my yard. I got back here late last night. We had loads of work to do, so I just wanted to pick up a trailer and get her up the road. Um, oh, there's loads of work to do in the yard today, but we'll do a wee run through my trailer because we have just got very excited about it. I mean, really, really proud of it, really happy with the result. 
a big moment for me, but I need to get this hitched up. I need to test it out, um, like how the ramps work. Uh, I know that sounds stupid, but you're always best when you buy something new, get it all rigged up and test make sure everything's working and how it should do. Um, but as it stands right now, I am so over the moon with my new purchase. So my last trailer was a free axle, straight up ramps, non-extender, nootie boom, right? I bought her for 15,000 plus to that. I would just say just under three years ago. Um, and I probably spent on her the time of either due to like maintenance and recently because I put like new rams on her. Uh, I redid underneath her just before. That was the thing. Just before I bought this girl, it was just bad timing. I literally just spent five grand underneath my last chair, like new S cams, new S cam bushes, uh, slackies, like well, slack adjusters, shockies, just we did everything. We did absolutely everything. And and then Robert Gilmore at GBT Sales phoned me and said, I've got the perfect trailer for you. And I was like, no, you don't. I will not buy a trailer in, uh, where was it? I, December. I would never buy a trailer in December. But when he showed me this, I was, right, I'll come have a look at it. And, yep, could argue with it. I was really happy with it. I said, bugger it, let's do it. We'll figure it out. We'll take the chance. We're going to take the risk. Um, and the result was great. They went above and beyond with the work on it, the paint. I said, I want them to paint it. And also paid the red up the front on the toolbox, which looks fantastic. They've done a wee bit of pinch down, they painted the, the sides red. It has came out fantastic. I mean, even look at my, my rings and my hooks. Just small wee touches like that. New LED lights, strobes as well. I've obviously shown you it's got a big winch up the front. We'll have to test that out and see how that works. Uh, because we should not go out in a job without testing it. You can't just say, oh yeah, I've got a winch, and then you go out and it doesn't work. Um, I need to take out all my outriggers, test them, see how they do. Oh, like test them. I says we'll see where they all fit. Now she is a four axle, so we can carry more weight, but we do have to apply uh, to be allowed to carry more weight um, for the paperwork for the lorry to upgrade it. But I'm not too sure what we're doing there because obviously that's the flat done, loader done. Next will be the lorry. But we're not too sure yet because let's be honest we are a business and cash is not always at hand quick so we need to do the figures and the facts but we will get into that if you keep watching uh but anyway going back to the trailer uh she's a steer as well she's a twin steer at the back but only twin steer when the all four axles are on the deck but when the front axle is lifted it becomes a single steer which is minted that's handy enough um i need to adjust the ride height on her because she's obviously been on a bigger lorry and she sits really high so when she's on mine it's aye we need to adjust the right height level or valve underneath you know you just get the rod and you'll just adjust it when it needs to go things like that uh, now we did need to replace the loader trailer no doubt about it did we need a four axle well yes and no we are getting offered bigger work but i don't quite need the four axle yet here's the problem i would I, my plan was to run the free axle for another year, make do, and then replace the trailer. But I kind of buggered that up. I know I have. But I couldn't. It was just a good deal, right? It was a great deal. Um, doesn't always mean you should buy things just because it's a great deal. If it's not right at the time, you've got to wait up. But I do have a plan in my head. Same thing. Keep it to myself. But we are trying to work towards that goal. So uh, this was the part of the risk by this trailer. And just see how we get on. But no risk, no reward. But my old trailer, I done well with that. My old trailer, I bought that for, fifth, this is XVAT, 15,000 uh, excluding VAT about three years ago, right? I probably spent on our maintenance wise, running wise, Plus, I just rebuilt underneath her. Like I did all the S cam bushes. Uh, she got two new rams at the back. She got well, new S cams, new S cam bushes, slack adjusters, shockies, chambers, everything. Proof done. Uh, new uh, big hydraulic rams at the back. I think they were eighty hundred pounds alone. So, I think in total, I've spent that trailer probably another ten grand on it in the three years I had it. When I traded her in, I got ten grand for her 
So that trailer's cost me five grand a year, which I would I would argue that's been actually all right. That's been good going. That's you know I mean. So when you buy a when you purchase and then sell an item, whereas a truck, always take into account like, at the time you've had it, it's cost you. And then once you sell it, you you deduct the sale return from the time you've had the the item, the asset. Does that make sense? So if you bought a truck that was a hundred grand over five years, right? Well, that cost me five grand over five years, but when you sell it, say you get 30 grand back for it, okay, that means the truck only cost you 70 grand over the five years, technically. But one plan I do have for this trail, which I really want to do, once we get everything fresh and tidied up and ready, uh, wanting to go back doing more south work, uh, what we used to do, I did enjoy that. We have been stuck up here in the Highlands for a good wee while, uh, doing all the stuff up here, which is fun and whatnot, but I will get back to more interesting work, so I'm glad to get on the phones to people. If anyone's also getting contact with us and wants us to come do work with them, um, always excited about that. Doing something different and different challenges, uh, that that would be a very exciting goal for us with this. But as it stands right now, we've got the trailer home. I've just got to do stuff over there, and I've got to do other work, other work. But once I've got all that done, I'm gonna hitch her in, power in, and just run through her and test her all out. Big ramps in and out, test all of that. I am really happy with this, guys. These are kind of moments that make you smile. I am a wee bit nervous the fact that this is a risk as well. You take risk when you buy stuff like this. Um, you take a risk at, at all the time in business. Uh, and that's what we like to stress in this channel. This is actually a business. We are we are trying to run it. Like, you know, that's our revenue. Um, and as it stands right now, haulage is very difficult right now. There's not that much money in it. Uh, I, I know that sounds bad to say, but... There's not that much work. It's very bleak right now. It's very, 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 very bleak. I'm phoning people that used to scream at me to come out and do work for them, but I was too busy to come help them. Now saying, oh, we've got enough. We've only just got enough. And I mean big, big boys, big hit of good work, all good work that I can't, there's just nothing there. So to have a new asset just arrive and be like, ooh. <laughs> but that is business. That is it. We will... We will just take on that challenge um, and see how we get on. And it's the same with a lot of other things as well. But let's get ourselves steadied up. We're building the new office. Social media is doing well. Hollage is doing steady. We've got a goal to you know get a new girl this year. What we get, what we can afford is another matter. Um, but we are excited about that. I am excited about that, thinking about it. Exciting times, guys. But anyway, uh, I know this hasn't been the most exciting, exhilarating video. We will get more to it, but I have got work to do. Loads of work to do. Uh, so I better get back to it. But thanks for watching. Uh, drop us a comment what you think of the trailer. Uh, drop us a comment of anything you want as well. Uh, like, subscribe. The whole usual thing that creators want you to do. Like I said I am just a haulier, just having fun and trying to show you what I do. Flat out, bye bye. Oosh!